So, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure how to start this video, but um, today's been pretty interesting. Um, I have I, I ha it was a, it was a great day. Um, I should say most of it was a great day. Um, you know, it uh, started off with you know financial aid coming in um, due to partially my my lack of um, keeping up with the paperwork and that's why it was delayed for me. Um, but obviously, I checked my account. And I was like, okay, it's in there now, hooray. Um, also, um, had English. It went by pretty smooth. The class is kind of like surreal. I don't know, it's very strange. Um, then, of course, public speaking went by with little ill effect because I was doing nothing but listening to other people's speeches, which there was a few that really, um, more or less, not hit me, but it was like, you know what, they had something to say. And all it was was like an introductory, you know, things about them, things that meant something to them. And... That's pretty much where the the awesomeness of today kind of ceased, kind of. So afterwards, um, I was talking to like a few students here and there after class, um, and it wasn't something I was exactly like trying to do. But there's this one cool guy um, who sits next to me, uh, Taylor, and uh, he's a pretty chill guy. Um, and, but then there was like a couple other students um, that I ended up talking to, like on my way, you know, to the get the bike, go down to the bus stop, yada yada. And I was like, you know what? This whole time I'm thinking, I'm like, I have to piss. God's honest truth. I was like, you know, I just sat in the class for an hour and a half or whatever that length of period of time, and I was like, you know what? I need to use a restroom. So. <laughs> I was like, alright, so, you know, I, I went to the bike, you know, after chatting, and then <clears throat> headed over to where I knew there was, you know, one of the, um, one of the restrooms on campus, on campus, on the way to, you know, going to the bus stop. I park, lock it up, go inside, boom, big ass sign, out of order, doing cleaning, and I was like, serious, are you serious? So I was like, you know what, I'll just go down to the bus stop. I'm sure I could probably hold it. I go down there, right, and I see the bus. Okay, I'm up at the top of the hill. I see the bus, and I have to go down this, like, windy path with my bike because I didn't want to take the elevator. Taking your eyes off of something that you're trying to, like, get on, not a good idea. So I took the, the ramp, and um, and I also have my bike. You know, it's not, it's kind of it's kind of taboo to take your bike and put it in an elevator. I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. Um... So, needless to say, I got to the bottom, and it was like, the bus was passing me as I got to the bottom, so I start going, you know, to catch up to it, right? Well, it's obviously moving faster than me. It parks, Trissy stops, picks up a student, drops off a student, I'm trying to catch up to the bus on my bike, and I'm like, obviously I missed the bus. Which, at that time... I went to one of the restrooms uh, towards my other class, my 3D class, which is on the lower campus, obviously. And I was like, you know what? God probably just really wanted me to use the restroom. He's like, you know what? I'm going to make you miss this bus because I want you to use the restroom. And I want you to be more patient. This is an experience of you having to be patient. And I was like, okay. Noted. I got gotcha. you. So yeah, it was um, it was interesting. It was a learning experience. Also, I was thinking about being. God, it's kind of getting hot up in here now. Now that I'm home, I was kind of thinking about being chivalrous. Okay, there was a young lady who um, she had like one layer on, like one shirt, and uh, I was sitting there thinking I was all bundled up, kind of like I was now with a jacket on, right? And uh, I was like, you know, maybe I should walk over to her and be like, Miss, you know, 
do you want, would you like me to lend me my jacket and, and my scarf so you can stay warm until the bus comes for you? Um, and uh, there's like four different buses that come through there, so obviously I would have said, you know, before your your bus or as your bus comes or whatever, you know. And I did it. Now, the partial reason is because I always tend to think things completely through. I run over several scenarios, you know, and I'm like, is this a good idea? Is this something I should do? There is never a time, I shouldn't say never, but there is almost always, there is almost never a time um, when I don't think something through. That goes for making good decisions, making bad decisions. If I made a bad decision, most likely I thought about it. And I was like, oh, I shouldn't do that. And then I end up doing it anyways for whatever selfish ass reason. Um, so, needless to say, my my chivalry was put to the test, and I believe that I failed. I think I did. But at the same time, you know, I brought it up to somebody, brought it up to Jamie, and you know, I was like, you know, I'm having trouble with something, I have a problem, and she was like, what is it about? I was like, chivalry, and you know, I kind of just threw some things at her that I thought were. Um, reasons as to why I shouldn't have asked, which I didn't, but one, okay, I'm a male, walking up to a female at random, okay, I don't know her, I've never seen her before, you know, um, so, so that, be, being a stranger and a male towards a female is something that is kind of sketchy, I think, um, even if you're doing it in a friendly manner, they're still gonna be like, hey, who the fuck are you, you know what I'm saying? But the chivalry, like, I guess, aspect of, you know, offering one's jacket to someone. Now, normally you do that to your girlfriend, you know, your wife, your daughter, you know, wh whoever um, you, you, you're you really close to. And that will mean something to them because they'll be like, oh, okay, you know, or, oh, no, you'll be cold. And then you take it off and you make them wear it because, like, you're a man, right? You're going to fucking take the, the brunt force of the freezing coldness. So, anyways... There was that. I come home. On my way home. I get off the bus. And I go to, you know, pull some cash for rent. Pulled the cash. Came home. Got some sewing. Came home. Um, not in that order, obviously. I'm just saying all that stuff. And then I came home. In any case. Um, so... Despite the fact that I was late with rent, um, don't you think that if you're given something and you, you actually come through with, you know, some form of an, an agreement um, about, you know, the understanding of being late on like something, say rent, um, don't you think it's still nice to say thank you? Didn't get a thank you, so I not in my head. Went upstairs, sat down in front of my laptop, and the whole time I was just thinking, I was like, didn't even say thank you. And then I started thinking about that. There are times when you feel that you deserve something, that you are owed something. And then when you actually do receive it, that you don't have to say thank you. I can understand that feeling. I have been there. I have done that. Doesn't mean it's right. With all of that off of my chest, I can honestly say that I am ready to take off my shoes and relax into being home for the day. Um, I have to make one more video and it's going to be of me in the same clothes, without boots on, <laughs> d uh, doing an official version of my uh, introductory public speech for my public speaking class. Um, and it's really bright out there. My 
good um <laughs> so yeah stay tuned i will be making that video here rather shortly so enjoy this video i hope it was funny i hope it was like you know informational regarding me and my life today and like i said stay tuned i'm, I'm really eager to get this this other video pumped out so any questions feel free to ask you know how to get a hold of me most likely if not oh well or ask i, I don't know anyways chow side